Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. We've received now the propellers back from Detra. Uh, as some of you may know, these are now being all completely tuned. So what they've done, I don't know if you can see here on the camera, you can see the thickness along here, and then it's kind of like they thinned it out here. And so what's this done, this has basically made the propeller slightly thinner, and they've also changed the pitch on the propeller. So the pitch is the angle here, right? So what we're trying to achieve is basically um, to increase the, the RPM of, of the main engines. Now, why do we want to do that? It'll be a cleaner fuel burn and better fuel efficiency as well. So you see they've done here, they've done all along here the same. On the, uh, this is now the, that's the wrong way around. We've got here, Sinistra, the Nestra. Yeah, so this is the port side propeller. And you can see that they've done it a great job here with the with the tuning so the idea is the main engines are supposed to be running on um, around 2350 rpm 2400 maybe and we're getting up to 2250 2300 you can see they've done all the sanding back along here they've thinned it out they've repitched the propellers see along there as well so very happy with that with that with that result and a great job there got another boat that's just come in over there which one is that one that's it a little view of the shipyard for you guys beautiful sunny day today still quite fresh here February cold weather they will still in a tent. I'll give you guys an update now on the underside of the hole so you guys can see what's been happening. Also, we've got the uh, approval from class that the anchor cable, basically the anchor chain. They did um, five, I think around five, five random measurements and random um, links. And uh, they all pass the flying colors. So the chains are good, the anchors are good. And so basically what the deck team needs to do in the coming weeks is they're going to be painting the anchor chain every shackle. So shackles around 27 meters. And then so when we're dropping the anchor, we know how many shackles we have in the water. Bow thruster is finished, you can see. They've all been reinstalled. As you remember on the, some previous video, the technician, uh, Cristiano, was struggling to remove the shaft from the motor to the propellers. He managed to get it out with using some handmade tools, uh, heat, a lot of heat to expand the metal. And now you can see the bow thruster is pretty much looking brand new. We've got new anodes. These are called sacrificial anodes. This is basically any electrolysis or earthing done on board is done through the anodes. So this will get chewed up first before chewing any other metals on board. These get replaced normally with a single season boat. So these get replaced annually. You see, you've got one here. I'll quickly take you around to the other side as well. And there'll be another one installed. As you can see, another sacrificial anode will be going onto here. So basically the guys, uh, now done all the color coats on board. They're doing a final sand and it will be the final clear coats or two clear coats, better said. And then the paint job will be finished. We'll give it time to cure before reinstalling the hardware. Once the hardware is reinstalled, we remove the tent. We then need to install the, um, 
the fins for stabilizers. So let me quickly show you the fins that we have over here. Ba, ba, ba. So these are the fins that you've seen in, some of you may have seen in previous videos. Basically the fins are here, they get reinstalled onto here. So once those are on, the propellers will go onto the drive shafts and then we'll do the primer first on the uh, underside of the hole or the below the water line. Uh, once the primer is applied, then they then apply two coats of anti-fouling. So basically anti-fouling is a type of paint which prevents any kind of growth or barnacles to be sticking to the underside of the hole. Therefore, when you have any kind of growth, it, it increases drag and slows the boat down and also starts blocking outlets and inlets of seawater, fresh water, or whatever it might be. It's having a lot of work being happening under here. So we can feel it, it's come, almost coming to the end. We should have now, uh, we think, are we today, 26, seven, I would say between, somewhere between six, six and eight weeks, we'll be back, it, back in the water. We do expect to have a two week delay due to the unforeseen works, which I've mentioned in previous videos. As you saw on the port side of the underside of the hole, the uh, filler started cracking and falling away. So we can only work on that once the boat's back on the travel lift and they can chip away at the um, filler and then refill it. Once that's done, they'll do the primer and then the anti-fouling of that particular section as well. So that's the update on the underside of the hull and the propellers. I'm really excited to get the boat launched in the water and to the sea trial to see how the, how the tuning of the propellers has affected the, the, the RPM of the engines, the fuel consumption and the overall burn. What I really want to achieve is a cleaner fuel burn for the boat. So you have a high RPM, you're going to get a cleaner fuel burn as well. And that's what we want to gain on AWOL to prevent any like dirty, horrible gases going into, into the atmosphere. See here on the P bracket, they've installed the new, um, uh, the new shaft seals here, the new uh, bearing, shaft bearings. So basically, this is all new rubber here with a new bearing. Uh, these grooves here are basically for water to go in to help lubricate and to help cool the, the spinning shaft. We'll go further forward where the shaft enters the boat here and towards the engine room you can see you can see that this is all brand new it goes all the way forward inside here all brand new and basically we installed it on both sides of the boat so we've got on the shaft we've got new seals uh new bearings uh once the uh, propeller is back in uh the arena surveyor francesco will come and he's going to measure the allowances or check the allowances and distances of the shaft there's no kind of movement uh, like, like this so he'll do the measurements and then it's up to him then to sign it off but uh we don't really see or we don't predict any problems it's very rare uh, because all the equipment that we installed is uh the same uh reference numbers just brand new so the work is continuing the progress is continuing i'm really really proud of this boat I'm really proud of you know where we were and to where we are now. You know when we bought the boat uh, three years ago, or three we now done three since uh, three years ago. Um, it was in a very different, uh, you know, it was in a very different condition. And I just want to really thank the owner for giving his trust into me and into our team to kind of build it up and make it into what it is, what it is today, which is pretty much a brand new. Uh, award-winning super yacht you know and uh, it's thanks to him that he's given us the the foundation or the canvas so to speak to to create something special here and it really it keeps me motivated um, I know a lot of captains and crew do struggle with budgets and you know they you have a very tight budget they're both in good condition it's very difficult to take pride in your work um, so, you know, having a good boat really does start from the owner. And, you know, because of this, all the team on board, all my crew are so proud of the boat. We're really excited for this charter season. We've got now, I believe, already just under eight weeks of charter book plus owner usage. So we're going to be very, very busy this season, but looking forward to it. We're going to be visiting some really, really cool places. 
and uh, looking forward to sharing it with you guys. Please do subscribe, because uh, it really does help the, help the channel with the subscribers. Um, also have uh, social media, Facebook, Facebook page, Super Yacht Captain, so check that out, and Instagram, at Super Yacht Captain 1. So do check those out, please, guys. Um, but for now, that's the end of this episode, and I look forward to seeing all of you on Captain's Vlog next episode. See you soon.